I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Right, today we are working on the chairs that we bought the other day for this morning salon for the dining table. I can't wait. Look at them, aren't they pretty? I uh, got this in another episode. Going off to pick these up. Look at the detail and the colouring. I really do like those. Angelina has some ideas to put her own little marks on these. But I need to protect this fabric first, so time for protecting the fabric with the Scotch Guard. Just an easy little That hurts. Fingers and thumbs. But that's good for first coat. I'll just wipe the wood. I've got a variety of um, gold uh, waxes here and I actually prefer, I've got a French brand, I've got American brand, I actually prefer the American brand, I find it more metallic like and the gold isn't as dark or antique shall I say, um, so this is the one I'm going for, it's the lightest gold, I think it'll work really really well on this chair and just like touching a little bit of the wax and just sliding my finger across it's as easy as that which is my favorite thing to do and sometimes i like to get a really um hard bristled brush and apply a little bit of wax on it and once i've got a little bit just dry brush the areas that i want to enhance it gives it a different style and different edge Just a softer look and feel. Yeah, I'll do on the other side. Transforms that whole piece. And now it's Philip's turn to do the uh, gold. He's helping me out. Let's have a look. It's nice work right there, mm, Philip. Yeah. Well done. Easy? Uh, no, I just put some on the side. <sighs> it's okay. It's only wax. We can remove it with some white spirit. And Lightning is inspecting very closely the work that Daddy is doing. I think he's doing a marvellous job and helping me out. Are you unimpressed at this, Lightning? <laughs> he is a bit unimpressed. But look at some of this. I'm liking it. Won't really get to see the full effects until it's in the sort of natural sunlight tomorrow. But, but show the other one where I've done detail on it. Oh, I will do. Now, see, some of that detail I showed earlier has now been enhanced with a little bit of gold. That is obviously personal taste, but I really like it. And yeah, it doesn't, it matches the table, which is quite an important thing. Certainly, no matter what, these are our new chairs. This is what we had here previously. And I'm gonna say that is a marked improvement. 
So you're doing the fiddly bits because I'm going to mess it up otherwise. That's right. Bound to, 100%. <laughs> but thank you for helping me on the basic things. Yeah, so... Angelina's is doing all of the quite intricate bits and I was allowed to do a line. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, as you see from down here, I didn't do particularly fantastically well because my eye for detail and such things is unfortunately just not there. I'm the bigger picture person, but thankfully Angelina is good with the brush, so. Yeah, hopefully I'll iron this out, hopefully. If not, that gives me a chance to paint him with the gold. Yeah, no. So in the cold light of day, even an overcast day, this is what we have done. Well, I say we, definitely Angelina more than myself. So we've just, just accentuated some of the details of nice chairs like this which is just her style and just gives that little bit extra to the piece which i actually really really like and do think that the pieces deserved it certainly i think around this dining table this is much much nicer than the farmhouse style chairs that were here and i think tomorrow she's going to do some more on this table of course, glaring obvious, we have these window seats at either end. That's why we have dragged Angelina's sewing machine in here, because we are gonna make, or should I say Angelina with my help, is gonna make some cushions for here with some arms, which will make it a lovely place to sit. And then of course, the curtains to really finish off this area. And then along with the molding for the walls, hopefully, we're getting to an end. We're on the home stretch in this room and I'm really, really glad because it's taken a long time. Obviously with outdoor events, we have to look at the outside first and work with the seasons. We're into the right season, we can finish this off. It's the last finishing touches and the bits that really make a difference. I can't wait to see this last bits come together so we can do a final reveal of this room and I can show you some of the other bits and pieces we've been working on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm.